Today, I'm going to tell you about my story, going from zero to three million dollars in revenue in my first year of business, selling one product. Year to date, we've done about two million dollars in revenue. That puts us at about an eight to ten million dollar run rate for this upcoming year. And I'm here to tell you that I'm no different than you. I'm not smarter. I don't have a higher IQ. I just put in the work. Some people think that I'm a sex addict or think that I'm a chocolate addict. And while I certainly like both, I can tell you that it really wasn't too much about the product, but more so the potential to market it. So. Let's start at the very beginning. Believe it or not, Tops was actually founded on the Kent. My partner was taking a shit. He was scrolling TikTok. And one day he stumbled upon this video. It had 8 million views and 2 million likes. And it was actually about a sex chocolate. I went to do research on the brand. No social media presence. For God's sake, they didn't even have a website. I knew that there was an incredible amount of potential here. And that with my skill set and knowledge and background, I could take this to the moon. It took us about a year to develop our supply chain and come up with the formulation, the recipe. There were a lot of moving parts. We didn't reinvent the wheel. We took the most popular and effective natural supplements that typically come in a pill or powder format and just transformed it into a luxury experience and just put it into a chocolate and made it taste good. If you look at typical sex products, like a gas station pill, people are like afraid to even talk about it or afraid to even let their partner know that they're using it to begin with. With Tabs, we decided to kind of flip that paradigm on its head. Additionally, like we invested really heavily in terms of building out an amazing, amazing package. The branding and packaging is what helps us acquire the customer. Now at the end of the day, if the chocolate isn't good and they don't have a good experience, they're never going to come back. We worked with a chocolatier and a food scientist to come up with something that was A, impactful, but B, also tasted good, which was super challenging to balance both of those. Third, there were custom polycarbonate virgin molds. The chocolate doesn't land in that shape by accident. Fourth are the polymellers themselves. But beyond the products, there are even more moving there's the photography, the website, which includes design and development, marketing, there's the customer support. There are so many different things that are going on. And as an operator, you have to be on top of every little detail. Otherwise, the whole entire operation can fall. Fast forward to launch, December 20th, of 2021. I'll never forget. In our first three weeks of business, we sold out of our entire inventory. But unfortunately, our strategy was not sustainable. We'd have an influencer that would post and sales would go up and they would spike and then they would fall back down close to zero. I quickly had the realization that if we wanted to build real sort of stability and longevity, I couldn't just rely on influence. There are a couple problems with the influencer system that I developed. Uh, first, it was incredibly difficult to skip. For every thousand emails that I would send out to influencers, maybe 10 or 20 would respond. And of those that responded, like 90% of them would try to charge exorbitant rates that just didn't make sense and weren't profitable. And of the ones that accepted, half of them would just end up stealing the product and ghosting it. So we'd have to cast such a wide net, such a, such a wide net just to work with one influence if i wanted to build something that was sustainable and something that had longevity i would have to switch to a different model and that model became the content creation slash andrew tate strategy basically i started off with one content creator his name was key he's actually become one of my best friends to this day instead of running influencer collabs i hired key on a retainer basis i paid him a flat fee to make one TikTok a day for 30 days. In our first couple of weeks, it was a massive success. I think Key generated anywhere from 60 to $80,000 in sales in the first 30 days. The question became, how do I scale this? I realized that I kind of had two options. Instead of bringing on a bunch of different creators to one account, I decided to create new accounts and assign each creator its own independent account. And I started hiring talented creators to manage and run these accounts. TikTok democratized the ability to go viral. It it wasn't about how many followers you had, but rather could you make good content that hit the for you page. You no longer had to pay somebody a crazy amount of money to reach their audience, tap into their distribution network. We sold out of all of our inventory in our first three and a half weeks. And then on January 15th, something crazy happened. An influencer by the name of Mossy Wolf posted a TikTok about us. They got over 6.6 .6 million views and over 2 million likes. In one day, that video drove over $50,000 in revenue. In our second month of business, we did about $280,000 in revenue. And a lot of that was in pre order However, we made a fatal mistake. You see, the chocolate was made in the United States, but the packaging was made in China. And instead of air shipping the packaging to our warehouse, we decided to fill a container and ship it by boat because it was significantly cheaper. And that was a huge mistake. The container got incredibly delayed and we were out of product for like three months. And in that time, we lost all of our momentum and all of our fire. Sales started to slowly decline. In April, we finally restocked and had inventory again. And I was super confident that I would be able to kind of just resume operation and get back to the same level where we were at just a couple months prior when we had inventory. Sadly, 
I was mistaken. You know, I, I moved from living in a dump um, in a fraternity house to Miami. I decided to take a gap year and go all in on the business. Long story short, I made the move and I had these big ambitions and goals to bring the business back to where it was. What I didn't understand was that, that this is a game of momentum. Despite the friction that I encountered, I was putting my all into the business. We started to make some progress. And then that's when August hit. Our revenue dropped by 40%. TikTok started banning all of our accounts and all of our videos. I thought that it was game over. On top of that, my co-founder went completely off the map and MIA. He told me that he would be returning back to school despite our pledge to take a gap year together to go all in on the business. And he suggested that I did the same. I ended up moving back home and it was probably one of the hardest moments of my life. I gave up everything. Instead of moving forward, I took 10 steps back. I mean, for Christ's sake, I was at the second best business school in the country. I ended up in the last place that I could ever want to be, which was back home. Somehow, I, I pulled myself out and I didn't do it alone. I want to shout out two people really quickly that helped turn everything around for me and changed my life. First is my guy, Key, much love, dude. And second is my uncle, Uncle Mark. I started eating clean again. I started getting back into the gym. I started going on runs. And you know, up until this point, it was really kind of just me by myself. I realized that in order to get to the next level, I had to build an amazing team. I brought somebody on to help us with email and SMS, version rate optimization, ad creatives. That coupled with moving into quarter four, holiday season, Black Friday, Cyber Monday, things just started to really take form and started to explode. And over the past couple months, I've just been like locked up pretty much by myself, living in Nowheresville. I decided that like, I wanted to travel. I booked a, a one-way ticket to Europe and traveled all over. I went to Milan, I went to Verona, kind of found my passion for life. People will tell you, focus on your business, go into monk mode and hustle, hustle, hustle. If you're not there or happy mentally, if you're not happy with life, like, what the fuck is the point? Like, what is the point? Your mindset and your life and, and your general well-being is so connected to your business. You know, things just started to improve across the board. More importantly, I crafted a team of assassins. They are the reason why I'm successful. They are the reason why Tabs is so successful. We started spending hundreds of thousands of dollars Instagram memes and Twitter memes. We started working with bigger influencers, more influencers, revamping, you know, the, the operation side, doing photo shoots, redesigning the entire site, bringing on a, a conversion rate optimization team. And we just started taking off like a rocket ship. Now, here I am today. I've done about $2 million year to date. We're on a, an eight to $10 million run rate. Over the next couple of months, there are three things that I want to accomplish. First is move internationally. More than 40% of all of our traffic comes from outside of the United States and currently we only sell domestically. Second, I want to diversify from our direct to consumer website. I want to move to Amazon and Etsy, wholesale and retail shops, smoke shops, sex stores, convenience stores, gas stations. And then lastly, I want to break into paid advertising. Over the past year, year and a half, pretty much all of our marketing has been 100% organic. We barely run any sort of paid ads. And the reason why was because in the early days, we couldn't. Our ad accounts would get banned after two minutes. And one more thing. Lastly, I want to build out new product lines and extensions. Uh, right now, we're one product shop. We literally only sell, you know, our dark chocolate, sex chocolate. Uh, and so I want to come out with new flavors and new moods and new products all together. I truly believe that we can be the one-stop sex shop. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed, like this, comment on this, subscribe. I have nothing to sell you. Please subscribe. I'll catch you later.